Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Nasser from Infinity Gaming. Today we will do the unboxing of this gigantic box from the Fallout 77... 70. Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Nasser from Infinity Gaming. Today we will do the unboxing of this giant box, the Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition. So let's do it. I had a hard time to get this one. They were directly sold out, but thanks to my game store, they still had one for me. Okay, when we open the box, you will see we have a note that's the explanation on what to do with the helmet. So you can put uh, the batteries in there. We have lights and sound effects in here as well. I will show that in a second when we take out the head itself. Then we have the Press Sentinel edition. It's a steel box. Inside you also have the codes to unlock everything. We have a map. I'm really ha happy and excited on this map is they rolled it this time, they not followed it, so we can use it nicely to put on the wall. It also um, glows in the dark, this one. Then we have a set of, like you would say, the plastic army guys you got when you were little to play with, but from Fallout. That's nice. But then, that's not why we bought this. Let's look for why we buy something like this. This. The batteries come included. So, I'm gonna set this here for a second. We get also a bag. It's just a plastic ish fiber. And it says West Tech Warfare Fully Powered. That should be back to put the helmet in if you want. Like I said, I wouldn't trust it too much to put something heavy in there. Then we have the helmet. You can get this up and down as well. You have buttons here and buttons here. So on the first button. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to switch it on inside. So we have the light. And you don't know if you really see it. Yeah, you see the bits. This light lights up. And on the left side you also have and two sound effects. So first of all, how does it look? It looks nice, nice details, nice paint job, we do already have scratches on there, I got it like this in the box. But then, my second opinion, the plastic itself, not that big of quality, this thing here, you see it's loose. When I had to put the batteries in, on the inside, you have to look out, because if you pull too hard, you will break it. I will take a photo of this, but I want to show the difference between this helmet and this helmet. Okay, this one, I did buy separately, it was like 200 euros, and if you look, the price from the special edition is 199, so with the game and all, this would cost like around 100 euros, so it's, it's yeah, half the price. But Here are the batteries I hold down with a heavy plastic protection with a screw. Here, like you will see on the sides, I will put the pictures. It's just a little thing that you have to put your nail behind and you already feel if you would put too much stress on there, you just break it off just to put the batteries in the first time. So, would I recommend this? 
really buying this to do some cosplay I did put my hat in there a bit quickly it doesn't feel that easy and you don't see much the side that you have here you see through it but it's like a really bad plastic it's like somebody who, who needs glasses like I do but really bad and you see shit and also how it fits on your head it's not that easy for me it's, it's a nice prop to put somewhere on a cabinet it's really nice but to really use it as a cosplay to run around it I wouldn't really recommend it all by all like I said, for the price of this, it's nice, but I could have done a little better job or maybe just ask like 50 bucks more and really have a nice, nice replica that you really can use. Like this, in my opinion, easier fit Iron Man helmet that I own. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of the special edition power edition from Fallout 67. If you like this, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you didn't already. Thank you very much guys. Bye.